Hi and welcome back everybody. Hope you all are having a fantastic day out there. I got an emergency message I want to put out for you all to hear today. Sometimes we got to do these quick talks where I pull off to the side, basically just off the side of the road to where I can talk straight to you. And an unedited video where I sound a little nasally, I get it. My son, my two-year-old son gave me a cold. No, it's not the vid. And I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but of course you can hear it in my throat. Regardless, all we ever ask is if you like talking about XRP, XLM, digital assets, what's happening in this market, drop an X in the comment section. Click the like button, and of course share this content. Let others around the world know what's truly happening in this digital revolution as we take a look at the markets getting pummeled today, getting hit very severely. We know that XRP is down about 3% at the time of this recording. XLM not doing very well either. But I want to say keep the faith and know why you got in. Sometimes you have to pull off the side of the road and tell people keep the faith and know why you got, why you got in. I'm not saying just me. I'm saying all of us should be discussing this because psychology right psychology of this market is so predictable i've talked in the past how when we have a red day in the market like we are today i will literally see views drop then we'll have a green day the next day and views will go up as if people are living day to day and you cannot do that in this market this cryptocurrency market was never ever a get rich scheme now people have gotten lucky and got rich overnight and don't get me wrong i would love to get rich overnight i would love to see xrp pump to 500 plus dollars overnight and it may just do that at some point but it's likely not going to happen today or tomorrow but we are a community of few, but we are a strong community. So we need to be able to pick each other up when we fall. We need to talk to each other, coach each other, and let everyone know the truth. Sometimes we have to be redundant and say, look, governments, countries, institutions, all the big players, the most powerful people in the world are in on blockchain. Who are the two biggest cryptocurrencies for cross-border payments that are moving into other sectors as we sit here as we talk today xrp and xlm with ripple and stellar's technology we can see what is happening on the back end right we're right around the corner from a possibly a big announcement at the party in new york with ripple and so we definitely have good things on the horizon. We know that there's going to be a settlement. We know that's right around the corner. What happens then? We know that Bitcoin ETFs are going to eventually get approved. What happens then? We know that SEC and Gary Gensler are taking L after L after L. And so the writing is on the wall. The story's already been written. We just have to sit back, watch, Read it line for line and keep moving. I'm going to get you more videos here later today. We're going to stay up to date. But again, sometimes you just got to pull off the side of the road, do a raw, unedited video and say, guys, buckle up. We got a fun ride ahead of us. Right? Don't get down on yourself because we have one down day here and there. I get it. This has been a long, tiresome bear bear market. Maybe that's why I'm sick. But uh, no, guys, we're, we're doing good. We're doing great. Keep up the faith. Click that like button if you are in this digital economy for the long run and you believe in cryptocurrency. You believe in XRP and XLM being the backbone of the new financial system. That's all I got for you for now. Please, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the content, and we'll see you all in the next one.